Hey, brothers and sisters, what's going on? Um, I'm always getting these messages. Um, right now, Pluto is in communication with our sun. And they're trading energies with each other. They're communicating through energies and frequencies. Right now, Pluto is filling our sun, our galactic sun, up with loads and loads and loads, tons and tons of plutonium energy. So now, when Pluto and makes that separation from our sun, our sun will have an added um, element to its um, celestial body, which will be plutonium. Right now, we know that the sun is full of photon energy. It's full of the photon. We know it's full of plasma. All right, we know the sun is full of ether. Um, the sun has always also been filled up with the iron oxide of Nibiru. But now the sun has um, plutonium. Loads, loads, loads of plutonium being pushed into the sun, causing a rift in the energy of the sun, causing our sun to gain um, certain isotopes, plutonium isotopes. So afterwards, when we have um, corona mass ejections in the future, um, you know, and all these planets are pretty much the same. You know, once when we have corona mass ejections in the future, let me finish up what I want to say. Uh, in the future, there will be uh, plutonium coming from the sun. All right, which means that this plutonium is going to be entering our planet. The plutonium energy, plutonium frequency. Because you got to remember, all these are frequencies. So, the plutonium frequency will be entering our realm entering the atmosphere, which means the atmosphere will soon become extremely highly radioactive with plutonium. The atmosphere is changing. Alright? Our sun is just like all the other planets. When you add something to it, um, it will magnify it, it will produce it, it will multiply it, just like every other planetary body. So, we're looking at... Um, extremely high levels of plutonium that will soon be in the atmosphere from our galactic sun. Our galactic sun is sending Pluto, is giving Pluto loads and loads of ether, loads of uh, plasma, as well as photon energy, which are what the sun is made of. But now you have this plutonium that's going to be in the sun, which means the sun is going to, is, is going to be. Uh, have an even bigger uh, blast and more powerful solar flares. All right, so I'll just be prepared for uh, something great and powerful to be happening. But very soon, the atmosphere will be highly radioactive as our sun continues to. Um, give us the necessary ingredients for our um, inevitable ascension. All right. Everything is changing. Everything is literally changing. Um, this plutonium is bringing an extremely high level temperatures. All right. Because plutonium is one of those um, elements that carry extremely high temperatures. The vibrations of plutonium is off the freaking rocker. So when you start talking about frequencies and vibrations, you're talking about extremely high energies. And right now, in a lot of places, you see the energy is high, um, which means that uh, plutonium has already hit certain areas. All right. So just want to share that with y'all. Um, 
soon the atmosphere will be highly radioactive and we will have um, extremely high levels of plutonium in the atmosphere. All right. Um, this was unforeseen, but you know, when you're dealing with um, nature and the cosmos, they don't have to, you know, cosmos don't have to give you any information. Just say, this, you know, you just accept it as, <laughs> as it is. All right. So just want to share it with y'all. Catch you guys later.